Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock Repair Philippines. This video is for experimental filmmaking on a Sony TCS 60 Walkman. They came originally in this very nice, very basic case. It has the belt strap, but probably won't use that, of course. Save this one as a diagram and have one made out of leather. If you're an experimental filmmaker, these are great because as you slide out the unit, it's very easy and compact to use for recording audio for experimental film. I'm going to open this right up. There's the hand opener right there. They generally in those days came with an indention and you could flip straight up and there you go. Let's take another closer look at this. Now looking down inside of here, it's going to need a CLA and demagnetization. Um, as a Bolex and camera repairman, I've known for 31, 32 years of experience, no machine works perfectly when you get it that are made like these. So, you got to get in there and do that. And let's see, even the rubber parts and the belts. And uh, back in the days of VCRs, I did a lot of repairs on those as well. What I can tell you and want to tell you is when you're getting these units, make sure to get into or know someone who is doing 3D printing because these plastic gears, you're definitely going to want to be in the market for a 3D printer or have someone who does that for gear replacement. All right, it's a good thing to do if you can't find the original parts. This one is quite clean as you can see and comes with the original lanyard attached to there. It, someone who had it really took good care of it. All right, and all the way around here, there are the controls. However, mine's in Japanese. I do have this very cool counter that I remember when I was a young man. I'm pleased to see that. And so there you are. And there is the DC. So there you go. I can even on dismantle, repaint the speaker and the battery compartment, which flips forward, flips back, and everything is as you would have expect. You heard me speaking of using this unit for experimental filmmaking, and this is true. Uh, currently, I'm overhauling my Bull X16 in the back. These uh, units did replace, to a good point, the Nagra audio recorders. They were big and bulky. They're great and still used today to a decent degree. But uh, TV reporters would use even these uh, Sony Walkmans and professional Sony Walkmans instead. They made everything so much easier. So the late great experimental filmmakers used tape recorders. Um, the earlier late great experimental filmmakers used uh, in the 30s and 40s used wire recorders. So, until next time, here is play in Japanese. You can see everything moving there. And here's stop. So until next time, this is Paul Morbid of Morbid Team Entertainment. Do contact me at the regular social media outlets up on the screen right there. All right, do subscribe. See ya.